the uh, problem considered here is of uh, gate uh, 2003 and uh, it's a problem of uh, common data type uh, having two parts uh, of two marks each the first part is on amplitude modulation and the second part is on the frequency modulation uh, first uh, we would have the statement of the problem and then we would go over to the solution for this problem uh, this is a common data type subgate 2003 2 plus 2 marks the first uh, the problem is let mt equals to cos 4 pi 10 pi 3 be the message signal and ct 5 cos 2 pi 10 pi 6 be the carrier this is given then uh, ct and mt are then uh, uh, this part uh, the problem I'll say this is 1 say this is problem 2 then uh, uh, in the first part CT and MT are used to generate an AM signal the modulation index of the generated AM signal is 0.5 then the quantity of total sideband power to carrier power is there are four options here okay now uh, we see the second part uh, of the problem uh, considered uh, here CT and MT are used to generate an FM signal if the peak frequency deviation of the generated FM signal is three times the transmission bandwidth of the AM signal then the coefficient of the term cos of 2 pi 1000 T 10 by 3 T is in the FM signal in terms of the Bessel coefficient is so there are four uh, options are given for the Bessel coefficient and uh, we have to find out uh, which is the uh, best option here so this has been the uh, problem and uh, we first uh, try to uh, summarize uh, this problem uh, actually uh, the first part of the problem uh, uh, is that uh, message signal and the carrier are given also the modulation index of the AM is given so it is uh, first problem is based on the AM modulation part and one has to find out the ratio of the total sideband power to carrier power it's a simple job to do it and the second part, uh, part is the same signal generates the frequency modulation wave and the frequency deviation is given then one has to find determine the Bessel coefficient for the case so these are the two problems we now proceed uh, to the solution uh, to these two uh, problems uh, considered here uh, we'll see here uh, this is uh, as usual uh, we have mentioned this is solution to the given problem uh, what is given is uh, the modulating or uh, the message signal is given empty cos of 4 pi in 10 power 3 t it's a message signal and the carrier wave is given as ct 5 cos 2 pi in 10 power 6 t that's a carrier wave <clears throat> now uh, modulation index is also known it's a given and uh, we have seen in the other problem uh, that how to determine the power in the side bands so uh, that we have already derived earlier that power in the lower side band is equal to power in the upper side band is mu squared ec squared over 8 where mu is the modulation index now uh, this is power in each sideband if you want to get the power in the total sideband then it will be the summation of this plus again this because this is a lower sideband plus upper sideband will give me the total power so this will come mu square ec square divided by 4 this will be the power that's a power in the sideband and the carrier power is ec square by 2 so we can find the ratio PS sideband power over PC that means the PC means the carrier power so it gives me square EC square by 4 over me square E square by 2 gives me squared by 2 given the value of mu 
is 0.5. Uh, we can substitute uh, this value here. Uh, that means uh, P so will be 0.5 over 2 whole squared over 2.25 or 2 this 1 by 8. And this corresponds to the option D here. Now the second part of the problem is uh, we are given the expression for FM signal that uh, X FM P equals to EC N minus infinity to infinity summation J and beta cos of omega C plus N omega MT. Here J and beta is said to be there is a vessel function of first kind and argument beta. Beta is the argument for this uh, vessel function and uh, uh, what is given here is the peak frequency deviation uh, is known and that is said to be three times the bandwidth. So we can write here peak frequency deviation is a three times the bandwidth is twice fm. So this would be six fm and uh, we can find the value of beta modulation like delta f over fm that six fm over uh, six fm over fm that means six. Now uh, let us see the term omega c plus n omega m and uh, basically uh, this is the part uh, uh, we have to determine the coefficient of this so this omega c plus n omega m we can write here uh, 2 pi into 1008 10 to 3 this is given in the problem that uh, this is c we have to find here again c we have to find the coefficient of the term cos 2 pi 1008 10 to 3 t in FM signal in terms of vessel function. So uh, the 2 pi uh, 1008 into n by 3 this is that angle part cos would be there. So if you compare this 2 pi 10 by 6 plus n into 4 pi omega m 4 pi into n by 3 and uh, 2 pi 1008 if you compare it you will get the value for n and if you know the value for n, uh, you know the value for beta that is 6, so you can find which is the basal coefficient uh, which would be true here in this uh, problem the basal coefficient and uh, if we uh, see the option uh, here is option D, the basal function coefficient is uh, here, you can uh, see here this is 5 J4, N is 4 here, J4 and 6 is the beta, that is the uh, that is the modulation index, that is beta. So this is the option D. So we are able to give solution to both the problems uh, and uh, uh, a very good problem uh, which has the combination of both uh, AM and FM uh, uh, part contained in the uh, same question. Okay, thank you.